Okay, this is my latest circuit. I'm calling it the One Magnet Bedini Exciter, and it's a combination between a pulse motor and an SEC Exciter. And I'll just run through the circuit with you so you can see what I'm doing. Now, L1 here and L2, that's my Bedini coil, and that's made from winding two rolls of uh, 26 SWG Maguire onto a third empty spool. There's 250 grams in each one of these rolls. Now, I do that for a reason. I want to get a one-to-one -one transformer, basically. So when the power pulse comes through L1, there's a large voltage induced on this side of the circuit. L3 here, that's a 12 volt relay coil, and it's vital for the circuit, it won't work without that. Now, Sephiroth, aka Intervertebrate, came up with this idea, and is what it does, it reduces the current draw in a Bedini motor circuit. Now, this is an earth ground, and it's best to use an earth ground, you'll get far better results from an earth ground. Uh, you can use a virtual ground, but if you can, earth ground. Now, the transistor, you can use any transistor really, uh, NPN, uh, sorry, 22. 22 BC182 MPSA06 or 3055s. Now, this here is Slayer's L2, and that's basically in series with the L1. And this is Slayer's L1, this is the large coil, and that's the small one. Now, if you're not seeing uh, Slayer's circuit, basically have a look on YouTube for G Bluer and uh, check his circuit out, and that will explain uh, what this is basically. Now, I'll show you the circuit in action. That's the motor spinning, it's spinning like an absolute dragster. And I'm using a, I think it's a 20 millimeter diametric magnet for a rotor. It's just got a small steel ball bearing as a pivot. That spins really, really nicely. Now, this is my earth ground, this wire here, and that attaches to my kitchen sink. And I'm not using a charge battery. Uh, I've omitted that because uh, I don't know what to do with the back EMF, which is coming from this yet. It's just a prototype. So uh, I may get around to doing something with that. Anyway, this is Slayer's L1 coil. It's the large one. And the L2's down there in series with the uh, power coil on the Bedini uh, coil. Now, I'll show you the exciter in action. This is just uh, an Avramenko plug. It's an LED uh, on a, an Avramenko plug. And that works you know, a fair way away. Now, the circuit is drawing 57 milliamps and I'm using a wall adapter to power it and it's on 6 volts so it will run right down the lowest setting which is 3 right up to the uh, the highest one which is 12 but uh, on 12 it goes bananas but I'll just show you a fluorescent lighting I mean it lights a fluorescent very easily and Lid Motor discovered these flicker flame bulbs and I love them basically it's a lot harder to light than a standard neon so if you can get one of those lighting you know you got a decent output on that lights for fun that and another interesting thing as well this is crackling away this is the output from L1 and I don't know if you can hear that but it's crackling away I'll just increase the voltage to 12 volts and you can hear it better can you hear that now and the motor goes absolutely bananas on 12 volts and we've got back EMF here as well That's the problem with these uh, small rotors, when they're uh, unstabilised rotors. They seem to go everywhere, you know, on uh, high voltage. That's calmed it down a bit now. But uh, there's back EMF here as well, because that neon's lighting. But also, is what I want to show you, is if I s increase the 10k pot right up, just turn that, and stop the rotor, the circuit is now in self oscillation mode and the exciter is still working away. So it will work in self oscillation mode. There's the uh, fluorescent. So that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.